Hello friends, today in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create a partition on your Windows 11 operating system PC. So let's get started. Last week, I got this new laptop that have 1 terabyte SSD hard disk and here you can see there is only one C drive by default. I need a couple of more drives like D and E drive for my personal and official data. So let's see how we can create a partition on your Windows 11 PC. To create partition in the hard drive, first of all go to this search icon and click on it and then search for partition. When you search for partition, you will see this result create and format hard disk partition. So I am going to just click on this option which is going to open this disk management window. Now if somehow if you are unable to find this option then we have another way to open the same disk management window. For that you need to go to your desktop and right click on this PC icon and then click on manage option and once you click on manage it's going to open this kind of window and here you need to click on disk management under storage. So you need to open this window either way whatever easy for you. Once this window is open here you can see I have only drive C and I want to create the partition on this drive. Maybe you have multiple drive here like D drive and E drive. So whatever hard drive you want to choose for your partition you select that drive here. In my case I select C drive and then just right click on it and then click on shrink volume option. It's going to take couple of seconds in my case but for some old or slow PC it can take more time also. So just wait if it take more time with you. Once you click on shrink volume option you will be able to see this kind of window. So on the top it say shrink C and next you will be able to see total size before shrink in MB. So everything which is showing here is in megabyte. Next is size of available shrink space in MB. And then you have the option to enter the amount of space you want to shrink in megabyte. So here you can see I have around 953 GB here and out of this 953 GB I want to allocate 200 GB to the new partition so I am going to write here 205,000 MB which is around 200 GB and based upon on this value your window is going to calculate total size after shrink in MB. And in my case, it's 770 GB after partition remain in my C drive. So once you have entered this value, just click on shrink option, which is going to create this unallocated section on the disk. Now we have around 200 GB unallocated space, which we have taken from our C drive. So once you can see unallocated space here, just select it by click on it and then right click on it and then click on new simple volume here which is going to open this kind of wizard here you just need to click on next and here you need to leave everything as default because we need to utilize all the space which we have unallocated right so just leave it as default and click on next here you can choose the drive letter also here you can see drive letter C already taken to my window partition. So apart from this letter I can select any letter from here. You can see letter A and B here and C is not there because it's already assigned. And I can choose any other letter from here. I am going to choose letter E but you are free to choose any other letter for your new partition. And then click on next. And then you will see format this volume with the following settings. Just leave file system as NTFS and allocated unit size default. Just leave both options as it is and down here you can give the name to your new drive. 
so by default it's new volume but we can choose it to anything i create this partition for personal data so i name it as personal so the new volume label will be personal and then you just need to click on next and then click on finish as soon as you click on finish you will be able to see this kind of notification and here you notify personal drive is created with letter e also now when i go to this pc i can see newly created partition with the name personal which is created from my c drive and now the remaining space in my c drive is 681 gb this newly created partition is for my personal data only but i need another partition for my official data so now i'm going to create another partition for my official data so let's start again and this time i will go fast to create new partition again i open disk management again and select c drive and then right click on it and click on shrink volume you will be able to see this kind of window here i need to enter the space amount that i want to give to new partition i type 308000 mb which is around 300 gb and after shrink the remaining volume in my c drive is almost 462 gb and then click on shrink after click on shrink we can see 300 gb unallocated section in our hard drive now we have 300 gb unallocated space here which i taken from c drive now select this unallocated space and right click on it and then click on new simple volume here then click on next then next again and here we need to choose drive letter this time i choose drive letter d and then click on next then here you can leave everything as default but if you need to give the name to this drive you can type here in volume label i give name data and then click on next and then click on finish same as soon as you click on finish you will be able to see this notification again and here you notify data drive is created with letter t also now if you click on this pc you can see this newly created data partition also and free space in my c drive is 380 gb now now let me show you how you can delete the partition on your window 11 pc so let's say you're not happy with your partition space or your partition size or by any other reason you want to delete it and want to claim all the space which you have in that drive into your main c drive how we can do it let's see so for that you just need to right click on this pc and then click on show more options then click on manage and once this window is open you need to click on disk management under storage and then select the partition that you want to delete but remember one thing you need to have the backup of data which you have in that drive because once you delete any drive partition all the data in that drive will be deleted also so you need to have a backup of data otherwise you will lose your data so now back to track i want to delete this drive t so just right click on the drive that you want to delete in my case that drive is drive t it can be any other in your case and then click on delete volume you can read this warning if you want and then click on yes you can read this warning again if you want and then click yes and then click yes again that's it and once you click on third yes partition memory will be unallocated but still we are not finished yet we need to add this unallocated space back to our main drive in my case it's c drive in order to allocate this 300 gb space in my c drive what i can do is i right click on drive which i want to extend so i right click on drive c 
and then click on extend volume option and then click on next and here you will be able to see one option which is 300 GB in my case because I have around 300 GB unallocated space here. So just select this option and click on next and then click on finish. Once you do that your C drive will be extended and the unallocated section will be removed. So basically what we did we extend our C drive by 300 GB and once you do that you successfully delete your partition on your Windows 11 PC. You can also check this by double click on this PC icon and now here I don't have this D drive anymore. This also show that our partition is deleted successfully. This is how you can create and delete a partition on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope so you like this video. Please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.